Hello and welcome to viewers watching this video. I would like to introduce the basic components, setup, and the application of SSAS22001 embedded Wi-Fi SOC for Wi-Fi speaker application. In the center of the screen, you can see the Wi-Fi speaker demo boards we are presenting today. First of all, I would like to introduce the working scenario of SS Wi-Fi speaker in IPSS mode. This demonstration includes four devices, a Wi-Fi speaker demo board, a speaker, a PC, and an iPhone. A successful setup will allow the iPhone to play media store remotely on the PC to Wi-Fi speaker. There are two major steps to enable the Wi-Fi speaker. The first step is to make a Wi-Fi connection between PC and the Wi-Fi speaker demo board. The second step is to make another Wi-Fi connection between iPhone and the PC. Through the iPhone app, Remote, available on the App Store, the iPhone can access music and the media stored in the iTunes library on the PC. Music will be transmitted from the PC's Wi-Fi to the Wi-Fi speaker. Next, I would like to demonstrate how to install and set up the Wi-Fi speaker. The development kit includes a CD, which has all necessary documentation and the software. There is a virtual audio device driver. Click it. The PC's operating system is a 32-bit Windows 7. Click the Install32 file to install the virtual audio device driver. Then connect the power line. Connect the audio line. And turn on the power. Then we need to make a Wi-Fi connection between PC and the Wi-Fi speaker. At the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, we can use the SS Audio Speaker Manager to switch PC's audio output. If you click the VAD Manager, it shows PC's audio R is driven by built-in audio device from Sirius Logic right now. We can use the PC's built-in site survey software to select the SSID shown as Wi-Fi speaker and make a Wi-Fi connection. If the speaker manager detects a valid Wi-Fi speaker available, the audio output switch to Wi-Fi and the audio device will be changed to ASIS virtual audio device. The speaker manager also shows the IP address in the center of the screen. If the Wi-Fi speaker is turned off, the speaker manager will auto-switch the default audio device back to PC's built-in audio device from Sirius Logic. I will now demonstrate how to use Apple's AirPlay function on the iPhone to play music remotely. Apple iPhone users can use the remote app to play music through AirPlay. Remote is available to iPhone users for free at the App Store. Select the iTunes Store at the upper right-hand corner and search for Remote. The first item of the search results should be the remote app. Then we connect the iPhone and the PC through Wi-Fi. Click Setting and then turn on Wi-Fi. Then join the same network as your PC. Click the Remote button and then click Add iTunes Database. It indicates we need to enter the same password on PC's iTunes. In the left-hand side of the iTunes, it shows a new iPhone device. Select iPhone and enter the same password 6599. It should tell you that the connection between iPhone and the PC is successful. After making a Wi-Fi connection between iPhone and the PC, you can click the remote app to use the iPhone as a remote control for music stored in your iTunes library. There are different ways to play the music. For example, click all albums and click my words album. 
then play the song of Justin Bieber, Baby. Thank you for watching. For more further information on AS2001, please visit our website, our contact access.